My name's Ryan Shelton. I'm a co-host on The Imperfects, the Jewish grandson of Austrian and English immigrants. And I grew up on and am now currently living on Wurundjeri country. I'd like to recognise the traditional peoples of this continent whose land was stolen nearly 250 years ago. In particular, we at The Imperfects would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast was recorded, and we extend our respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The rich storytelling history of the world's oldest living culture is what we proudly pay homage to when we share stories on The Imperfects. Okay, Ryan and Josh, we're here for a slightly different reason, but an exciting reason. Would you say Would you say it's a very big announcement? Yes, or, or absolutely. Or this, quite a big announcement. No. Very big. It's a darn gosh big announcement <laughs> we have for everyone. Yeah. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It is darn gosh big. God, you're going to upset our parents from 1852. <laughs> Who does the announcement? Or do we like tease it a bit? And Well, I, I mean, I... I wonder what people are thinking it is. I assume I, I, it was in the title. Of uh, the, well, maybe it wasn't. Uh, maybe we've uh, put the title as like a darn, darn gosh big announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. What do you think people are guessing right now that it might be at um, this point? I don't know. Probably don't care. One of us are more getting... More tea cl- bags. More, oh, more tea bags. Things. We're cloning Josh. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the dream. The dream is to clone Josh. Imagine that. Oh, we'll call that a fucking big announcement. About that day, <laughs> Twice as many good questions. Yeah, wow, that'd be cool. Yeah. It'd be incredible. Okay, well, it'd be great you, for Josh as well. Like just as a parent, having two of you. Oh, I mean, if anyone has seen the movie Parent Trap, you'd know. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's huge benefits. <laughs> huge huge yeah. benefits. Aren't there double the kids? Parent Trap. I haven't watched it. I'll stop. Yeah, talking. yeah. Good guess though. I think I think it's I think it's twins. She's, they're twins, and they get to, they trick their parents and like. You know, one of them, you know, you can sort of play the same. Yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, I can't remember. This is not the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. <for> very <laughs> exciting quite. analysis of Parent Trap. No. Uh, <laughs> Hugh, please tell us, tell, tell everyone, what's the announcement? What's going on? In 2023, Ryan, Josh and myself, The Imperfects, will be touring a live show around Australia. On stage. On stage. Yeah. The three of us. At, at, at a lot of big cities around. Like, we're, we're really going across the yeah. country, aren't we? So, we're going to Melbourne, which isn't that much of an effort. No, it's <laughs> easy. <laughs> Pop in our cars and go somewhere. Yep. Uh, we're also, we'll also be playing Geelong, Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Perth in 2023. Huge. Huge. Yeah. So, and tickets, if you... Because I'm, I'm tempted I'm tempted to say, go buy tickets because tickets will sell fast. But I don't actually know. We've never yeah. done this before. Yeah. Well, I have done this. And it's always a funny thing of your, your instinct because you hear everyone say, um, you better hurry up or you'll miss out. Yeah. There are some shows like like my tour of New Zealand. I'm just saying, get them whenever you get the chance because <laughs> no one's buying them. So. <laughs> well, well, that could be the case. That could be the case for what this. I mean, it could be like, <laughs> quick. Tickets are selling slow, so just. <laughs> but we don't know. Like I don't know. Like I mean, the, the, what we do know is pre-sale tickets are available right now mm. at LiveNation.com.au. Yeah, but you have to if you want. Okay, this is something I don't. I don't understand. Mm. I, I keep pretending I understand. Well, when I say now, let me just clarify. Now is November eleventh, yes, twenty twenty two, until November fourteenth, which is Monday. But what is pre like? Pre-sale if- means I think. You need to you need to log in. You got to create a, a a Live Nation account, but then you get access to better yeah, seats. It's all about the good seats. The good seats just yeah. sale. Like that's it's. Sale, well, I think sale. they only release the good seats, and then you you get a chance to get the good seats before everyone else. Before everyone else. Before the rest so of the tickets a, go on sale on Monday. So it rewards the more. I don't know. Passionate. To me, that's just it's on sale, and if you're excited. Yeah, to me, it's a bad time to be talking down the pre-sale. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might not be selling that quickly. <laughs> I think I actually do think pre-sale is the way to go. Here. Okay, pre-sale. Yeah. I mean, as much as I mean, I'd love you to keep debating this because <laughs> that would because it, because because then people would be less inclined to go buy tickets, wouldn't you say? No, I reckon no. I reckon some people are going. I oh, also don't understand what you're talking about with oh, the pre-sale. So, yeah. Okay. Sure. You need to explain. Anyway, it. Either way, if you want really good seats, <laughs> buy them in the next three. Days because that's the pre-sale, yeah. And then in three days' time, it becomes sale, normal sale, normal sale, and you can get probably still good tickets. <laughs> maybe who knows? But maybe well, maybe in the next couple of days they'll just sell like I mean because we're not there aren't heaps of seats. Yeah, let's yeah we're not playing the MCG. No, no. Or like the Sydney it, Cricket Ground. So there are finite seats available. Yeah, yeah. So 
I, I mean, look, <laughs> it's biased opinion, but if I were you, I'd get in fast. Hey, Ryan, what's <laughs> yeah. the show? Great idea. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. <laughs> Great question. I don't know what the show is yet. We don't. We haven't no. really discussed what the show is yet. Um, probably wait and see if people buy tickets first, and then we'll <laughs> start a show. About that. Write a show. Um, I, we know it's but not. It's not a podcast. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's not this. Yeah, it's not a st- it's definitely not this conversation. <laughs> God, imagine, imagine if it was this. <laughs> no, it's not this. It's a it's a proper live performed show. There will there's a good chance there'll be music. Yep. There's a very good chance there'll be music. There will be stories they can expect, hopefully to feel the same way they feel after they listen to one of our episodes. So yes. they'll laugh a bit. They might feel um, a little bit emotional at times. It'll make them think about stuff, hopefully learn some stuff. Yeah. Um You can't I mean the tr- the annoying thing at the live show, we should let you know this in advance, the annoying thing is you can't skip forward 30 seconds. <laughs> you will have to sit through every single second of the yeah. show if you come, Yeah. Um, unless you leave early, which is not advised, but yeah. I was just thinking, I, I said before, there might be some music. That's the first thing I said there might be to show. That's never happened in one of our episodes before, so to say that no. you'll feel the same way as you do it. The music, who knows? We might be able to get some music out of someone um, <laughs> Well, at one, some point, l- l- can but, I just, but you will feel the same way as you will about an episode. Yes. Hope. Can I just share one thing? So I, um, so the great people at Live Na- Live Nation, they've um put a a, po- a poster together, like a yes. tour poster for us. So we did a photo shoot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we went. The three of us went to like a studio, did a photo shoot with brilliant Tina, and we were getting all just this, like just well, that's not her business name. Brilliant, brilliant Tina. Tina. No, like no, no. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. No, her name is just Tina. Yeah. Actually, her name is not just Tina. Her name is Tina. <laughs> it was um, Tina Arena. It was Tina Arena, wasn't it? Yeah. Tina yeah. Arena was doing the photography for us. She wasn't. Um, so, but, uh, but yeah, so we got the photos. We were in the studio, like, smiling, doing the normal photo things. And it, it just felt weird. Like, it just felt wrong. And then all of a sudden, we were like, no, let's not choose the good photos of us. We are the imperfects. Let's choose the imperfect photos of us. So <laughs> the photos that we have chosen for the poster are the worst photos. From a from a two-hour photo shoot? <laughs> yes. So this is the poster, guys. <laughs> um, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. I haven't seen that. That is incredible. So that's, so that's oh, the poster. Boy. So it's the, the – I mean, we'll put it on – Instagram. It's uh the Imperfects tour. So it's the Imperfects live on stage, right? And it's like three photos of us uh looking shit. Like blinking, half <laughs> eyes half open, like just not ready for the fo- you know. Anyway, so that's the poster. That is, I really like that. Guys, I showed this poster to um to someone who will remain nameless. I I showed the poster to them to say like, "Oh, look at this. Like what do you reckon of this?" And they honestly, they looked at it and they were like the imperfects live on stage. <laughs> I was like, it's like what? It's like no, the imperfects live on stage. That's what it says, and that's the first thing you notice. That's the yeah, and they, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but then they go, they go, oh right, I, I read it as live on stage, and I was like, well, we're not living on the stage. <laughs> but then I thought, well, we kind of are living on stage. For like just over an hour, mm. for a week, for for yeah, for the time yeah. that we're in that city, yeah. Technically, from the moment we walk on stage, the moment we walk off, we are living on stage, yeah. Which makes the people who come and buy tickets our guests in our house for like an hour and a bit. Our vulnerability house. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, it could be yeah. the vulnerability house. Yeah, I love that. So yeah, so we're, so if you want to come and be our guests, I mean, rarely do you charge money to come to, to for someone to go to someone's house, <laughs> but um, you will have to pay money. Uh, well, it's like Josh, you and I, we're, we're share house, we're living in a share house together yeah. and people can just turn up and watch us we're roomies. in our lounge room. Yeah, yeah just hanging out. Just hanging out in our house, and yeah. um, you can come see us living together. On and we will, stage. we're going to put a lot of effort into preparing this, unlike if we were just chatting around a coffee table. At yeah. Our share house. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we'll yeah, have for sure. planned things. So, so if you want to get tickets, um, sorry to get back to the details, you know what I'm like with this stuff. Oh, you're a man of yeah, details. Ad, you love it. Yeah. Um, so, if you, if, so if you're going to buy tickets in, during the pre sale, you have to register my Live Nation account, which is very, very easy to do. Yep. Um, and if you want not as good seats, um, just wait till Monday. Monday. To the 14th. To the 14th. Yeah. At 9 a.m. local time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it also worth mentioning that this won't be released as a podcast? That they won't yes. be released as podcast episodes? Oh, true. So you only get one chance to say it. If it's you, not true. Yeah, yeah. If you don't turn up to this show, you will not ever hear it. 
Yeah, that sounds aggressive. <laughs> That's a threat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only <laughs> the only other way. You, I mean, you could not buy tickets, and you could sneak into the theater the night before, set up a secret video camera and microphone. And then record the whole show. Yeah. Seems like a roundabout way to say it. But. Yeah, but you know the biggest fright I've ever got in my entire the most scared I've ever been in my entire life was um, I was when I was working at Baldwin Cinema. I was in there cleaning out the cinema. If there is no Baldwin Cinema story in this live show, I'll be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're gonna we're gonna set it up as the board cinema oh, no. the staging. We have full reenactment. <laughs> so I was cleaning out. So it was a, a. It's quite a scary cinema as it is. It's a very old building, and I was cleaning out um, the cinema after a movie, and the nine thirty is about to start. And I was in there by myself for about fifteen minutes, cleaning out from under the seats. Takes a while with the popcorn in the rubbish bag, and there are curtains along the side of the wall, um, as are in most cinemas. And I leant against one. I leant back into one. Mm. And there were three guys hiding in there to get into the next cinema for free, and I leant into Whoa. a guy. And this guy went terrifying. Like, yeah, and I leant into a man, and <laughs> <laughs> I leant into a man, <laughs> and the I, Hugh Van Kylenberg story. And I, I made a noise. This is the noise I make when I'm. I'll never forget it. I went ah, like that. That was my scared noise. Oh, like, after I didn't you leant like, into you a man, would, you would think. <laughs> <laughs> You would, but you would think the scared would be like, ah, like that. Yeah. Like, ah. But it was like a grunty. I just, it would, my most, the, me at my worst. Just so you know, if you come to the show, there will not be a story this boring, I promise you. But I just thought of it. Uh, I am looking forward. I mean, we're doing, I don't know how many shows we're doing. I mean, we're in all those cities that you mentioned before. Should we say them again? Go again, go again. Melbourne, Geelong, Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Perth. It's exciting. I can't wait. Oh. It is my having done this for the last couple of years. It's my. Fa- I'll tell you something. I'm very- slightly nervous. I've never performed yeah. on stage really in this capacity. So well, I'm to very, be honest, n- very nervous, but I very mean, excited. Hugh's very experienced in yeah. this. But jo- I mean, on the side, Josh, I did. I did one like a few shows at the comedy festival a few years ago with some and friends. And you did Oliver Twist, didn't you? At oh, school. in year nine. Yep. <laughs> True. In at high school, I did plays and stuff like when. It was, but but yeah. nothing. Not like comedy shows like this. I've never yeah. done live stuff other than this one thing. So I'm nervous. You're as well. exceptional. I was at that show and the, sorry, just not yeah. Oliver Twist at the show. <laughs> <laughs> Your at, Bill Sykes was fantastic <laughs> at the shed show. Oh yeah, and you're incredible. Oh, you, yeah, you're, really, really, so, you're amazing. Yeah, well, hopefully I haven't peaked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I so I've been in this for a couple of years now, and it's my favorite thing in the world to do. But one of the very weird things about my job is that, like, for example, when I was Adelaide, Adelaide Entertainment Centre, there was like 2,200 people there and the hotel is literally five minutes away. The show finished at 8.45 and Tom, my tour manager, is there waiting for me and I get off stage at 8.45. I'm in the hotel by 8.55, sitting on my bed by myself, absolutely peaking from like performing for like an hour and a half yeah. to 2,200 people. And yeah. I sit there on the bed just going, okay, just by myself now, I guess I'll... Oh yeah, yes, so I'll go to bed. Yeah. It's just I cannot wait to just have company. All sit on the bed. Yeah, all sit on the bed together. <laughs> <laughs> that will be fun. <laughs> I, I am, so, even though of course we've got to figure out what the show is. Like, remember that we'll figure that out. We'll figure out what the show is. But I am so excited about oh, this. Okay. Yeah, me I'm, too. I'm not sure I look forward to something this, this much. I, I just, it's going to be wonderful. I, I, all sincerity, it's going to be a great night. And we would, if if you. Have enjoyed the journey that we've been on in on you know in this podcast. This is our next, I guess, the next phase for us doing live shows, and we're yeah. very excited. And um, I can't wait to be doing it with you both. We hope you'll come and be guests in our house while we live on stage for just over an hour. <laughs> live on tour. <laughs> live on tour. Yeah. The imperfects live on stage. Uh, <laughs> go to Live Nation. <laughs> Go to livenation.com.au uh, and register if you would like to get pre-sale. Otherwise, tickets will be available on Monday. We Great. can't wait to see you there. Well, we'll see you before then. Well, obviously, we're doing episodes before then. Oh, yes, but, yes. but yeah, but see you in, in person. Yeah. Live. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> I was going to say back to today's episode, but there's no episode. No, That's it. No, back to today's life. Back to today's live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go back to your live. live. Thanks, guys. We'll hopefully see you at the show. Bye. Bye.